Fanatics, third straight win. Thank you, guys, sitting in with us here on the desk. Rainover and Febovin after a third straight win for you guys. Uh, welcome and congratulations. And Febovin, I got to start with you because the Irelia Azir matchup. We saw Faker doing it on Irelia. How was your lane experience versus Nuke Duck on that Irelia? Uh, actually, I played this matchup against Nuke Duck in solo queue. It was uh, the only time I played it. Uh, and I was really surprised that he picked it. Uh, I'm supposed to lose this lane pretty hard because he can just jump on me all the time. but. I just had to play safe, and then in team fights, I would do 10 times more than him. So out of interest, do you feel Nuketak was not aggressive enough in lane, or were you just playing defensive enough to not lose the lane super hard? Uh, I think it had to do with our Evelyn pick and not showing on the map that many times. Because she cannot really jump in if she doesn't see Evelyn. So, and if she jumps in, then I just ult her in my tower, and then she, she cannot really play aggressive when she has no clue where my jungler is. Yeah, Evelyn uh, making that threat, and it was the last pick actually for you guys. We're gonna get a graphic with the team compositions up on the screen. Tell us why exactly because of this and why you picked the Evelyn last into the composition from Rocket Rainover. Uh, we were trying to like uh, choose what to pick for jungle. I cannot tell what, what we were like in the, in the thing, but uh, we just decided to pick Evelyn because of like, uh, if you scale, for like late game, then we have like no chance that we lose the game. So we just want really strong early game jungler, like maybe stronger than Gragas to have good early game, but we fail on the early game. But yeah, that was our plan for Evelyn. It, it definitely worked out. You guys got to the late game. Rainover, can you expand a little bit on the Rise pick and the Ezreal? Mm -hmm. Because we were discussing on the analyst desk, first time Rise, it was banned in the previous game. Uh, why those champions today? Mm. I mean, the obvious one is there was three top lane bans. For, so. <laughs> uh, for Rise, uh, Huni actually practiced it for maybe 30 games in a row in, in solo queue. And our scream result was really good with Rise. And I th uh, what Huni says is Rise is really OP in this <laughs> in this patch. So like, he's saying that it's going to be nerfed like, after the next patch. So like we were really confident with uh, Rise in our comp. So we just fast pick rise because like we had so many success in rise and about israel mm, i don't really uh like there was kalistar ban and they pick urgot so and they had some mobility champions so i think it's just israel was the safe pick and then you can put a lot loss of damage in teamfight too so all right, it worked out for you guys in the end. In the mid game, though, there was a moment where rocket got two aces in a row. Um why do you think that happened fabian uh, I think we weren't on the same page because we, we just got caught out and we after that we just managed to group and we knew we were going to win as five against five. So that time we just got caught off and it was, yeah, we were not really, we didn't know what to do at that point. Yeah. Is that a valuable lesson, Rainover? Because oftentimes Fnatic gets ahead so much in the early game that you guys don't need to worry about that? Uh, no, it's, mm, yeah, maybe that's, that affect a bit, but usually, like I think, uh, like when we have Nash, like we feel like we have to snowball really fast. So like we take some risky route because we want to like save our time for even though it's like five seconds. But we should like fix about that. So like we were taking like really risk route to moving top, but it was actually they was baiting on the red side. So that was the I think first cut, and the next is that uh, we just tried to use one wave mid wave. But we could have just give the wave, and then we could have just pushed from the next wave until rise come. But we were like really greedy about like using the ne the ne wave right beside us, even though we're not grouped. So they actually got managed to flank us, so we couldn't fight properly. And then rise should be with Azir to be the power spike, mm -hmm. but we fight separately. So they actually they fight better than us, so we just lose. Wow, and you got Daylor on top of that to tell you guys that as well. Lessons learned here. Congratulations, guys. 3-0, and Fnatic. And for now, we need to step away as H2K and Gamut Gaming get ready to face off in our Game of the Week. Don't touch that browser. We'll be right back here with more LCS. You like your fans, Sony? Oh, of course I have to like, you know? They're so but good. But you never post anything on Twitter. Of course, we can, because, because he cannot speak English. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, in fact, it's true, you know? Huni's in some trouble. It's not familiar territory for him. Give it up first blood. Oh, there's Sapling! Sapling!
Sullivan, though, comes in with a massive ultimate, and he looks for Steve. The soldiers are flying. Here's he Reckless. picks him up. Reckless comes in. Double kill, however. I can flash on Estral. I can flash on Estral. I can flash on Estral. Fight, 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 fight. Nice. Whoa, nice. Get nice. Yeah, nice. nice! But he flashes away. Steve, push back. Emperor's Divide, True Shot Barrage. The combo is real as Nuke Duck now being fired down. Fnatic, they close it out with a 3-0 so far.